What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to your weekly eFootball 2022 news roundup. We're going to be taking a look at all the information that dropped. There's a couple of repeated events and stuff and legends, which is a bit of a pity as we wind up towards the end of this season. And also, we're going to be talking about when we could see the next major update based on a couple of things. We're going to be going a little Sherlock Holmes, lads, so we'll do a little bit of investigating. But the big news I think today has come out is the fact that eFootball has joined up in an official partnership with the French national team obviously um probably the best team in the world at the moment and the amount of players they have that are just ridiculously uh good obviously favorites as well for the world cup you would imagine um but yeah i mean an incredible team and one of the best teams in the world is signing up in an official partnership so we're going to head over here to the actual uh where are we here so konami new partner of the fff so the french football federation in konami a major global player in video games are pleased to announce an exclusive partnership until 2026 so that's pretty huge right and it also says here that le blues will join the eFootball series and the fff will be associated with a selection of international esports events so i predict that we are going to get some sort of like international esports tournament um which would be massive. I mean, obviously, the way they say that we're a selection of international esports event. Does that mean clubs? Does that mean international? Does that what? What does that mean? So I, I predict we will have a bit more news on that with eFootball twenty twenty three because they had talked about it in the original roadmap. They had talked about you know having these sort of esports events, um, online offline events, and all that sort of stuff, and we haven't really seen any of that come to fruition yet. Because I think everything is behind. I think they are a little bit behind where they thought they would be when they released eFootball v1.0. So, yeah, I mean, the rest is just kind of saying that they're delighted to join. They're delighted to be part of uh, the partnership. Um, but it is pretty big news. I mean, let me know what you guys think. The first thing I thought of was maybe we will get, like, classic, um, you know, to tie in with Dream Team, to tie in with the player packs and stuff. Maybe we'll get classic uh french national team legends you know you could have the 1998 french team so you'd have zidane you'd have Henri, you'd have Barthez. you know you already have Vieira and a couple of those guys um you know perez might come back obviously petit uh a couple of those guys desai would be an absolute beast as well um always could do with more defenders but yeah let me know what you guys think and then obviously you'd have the newer the newer age guys as well like Nicholas Anelka or somebody like that Will Thor somebody like that so Eric Cantona I imagine um David Ginola there's so many that they could include as one-off legends but let's see what happens so moving on to more news um there isn't much today there's just a couple of things we'll get into that in game um but they do have the official uh, new legends well these aren't really new these are repeat uh, releases so you've got Iniesta, Ferra and uh, Cliver we'll have a look at these in a second as we switch on over to the actual game so as I said lads the uh, the legends that are on offer today we have got the Barcelona ones my wireless controller is low what's new and then we have got the special players here I think the pick of these I will do a little review on these but um, I think the pick of these is Andres Iniesta obviously I think he's one of the best players in the game especially this card his acceleration you can get that to maybe mid uh, low 80s you can get his speed up to the mid 70s or low 70s and then the rest of the stats you don't even need to really upgrade lads he's unbelievable his dribbling his passing his tight possession absolutely outrageous and he's got so many player skills as well that he is just going to be an absolute boss in that attacking midfielder role that's where i would have him linking everything up i'd love to get him but i probably won't spin for him i might you know give a cheeky two two spins there but um the rest from fair and clivert we will take more of a look at the, them as well but i mean there's a lot better right backs in the game and I know a lot of people have actually said that Cliverd is a bit of a beast. He's got, you know, 82 finishing, 80 heading. He's got 14 levels that he can go up. So he is actually quite a decent target man to have. But I just think, again, there is better players in it. But we'll get into that in more detail at another video. Um, where we can go into a little bit more kind of, you know, instruction with it or whatever analysis of it. Now, I want to talk, lads, just this is literally, this is just me thinking out loud and just kind of putting two and two together and getting five really. But I'm thinking, right, with the new update, usually 
it's two months since we've got an update, right? So it's usually like a big update. Obviously, the, f- the football season has started. La Liga is back this week. Bundesliga is back. Premier League is back. League One is back. All the major leagues are going to be back starting, you know, from this Friday, Saturday, right? So what I am thinking is, based on these events ending or the cards ending, we have got the breakout stars, the Spanish leagues, and also the J-League Division One ending in 13 days, uh, 16 hours. So pretty much 14 days from now. That puts us at a date of around the 24th, 25th of August, right? Which does tie in, in my opinion, it gives us one more legend release. So obviously when this ends in six days time, we'll get another three legends to come out. And then I think we're going to get the next major update. Now also adding fuel to that fire, right? Apart from these, if we go back here to the main screen, And we actually look at the premium player packs that you can actually buy at the moment. This is ending in six days. That's fine. That's just going to be rinsed and repeated. This is going to be six days. That's going to be rinsed and repeated. The tour event, right? So there's a new starter event that you can go into. We'll go into that in a sec. And you can play and you can repeat and get your 200,000 GP as far as I know and all these trainers and stuff. So this is a second starter event that you can play if you're just new to the game. But anyone can play it and you get loads of rewards. But this is the one that kind of uh, ties it for me. Where is it? Yeah, the premium objectives, right? So the premium objectives are ending in six days time, right? So this obviously doesn't tie in with the with the 13 days but i reckon what will what they'll do is like the last time is they'll have a week break between the premium objectives ending and the season ending and then the premium objectives in the new season starting like the next major update because if you remember the last update we had a week break it wasn't like a seamless season one season two season three roll on effect there was like downtime there was like a couple of days downtime remember remember it got like you know, push back a couple of days and then they stopped the divisions and then everyone was given out and then they brought back the divisions a week early or a couple of days early. So I reckon what they will do is release this to tie in with this new update. So the Spanish League update, right? Also on top of that, we have got in Dream Team here, as I talked about here a minute ago, we have also got the new events, right? Which again, the Starter Cup is ending in 13 days. The Worldwide Club is ending in six days. I reckon that these two, the Worldwide and the Spanish League, they will just rinse and repeat until the new season. So we'll have another week of them. But this Starter Cup, when that ends in 13 days, I think we'll then get a following like season update for that. So that's my opinion on it until they bring in the new kind of like major update. Now in the eFootball League as well, lads, don't forget that the divisions did reset today. So obviously we were in division, I think we were in division four. Um, and yeah, phase five has now begun. So I'm back into division seven, but you can get all your rewards here when you do just load up here. Um, and then go back out to the main menu and you will get everything. So yeah, lads, that is pretty much it from me. Um, just press start here, obviously, as normal, lads. And then you're going to be claiming all your rewards and we'll get everything in there. Um, but yeah, that is it from me, lads. Let me know what you guys are thinking and let me know what you think about like my predictions. Um, does it tie in with what you guys are thinking or what you're predicting? Um, you know, so I'm saying that there's going to be a major update in two weeks time. That's my prediction. I think because of the dates that are in the events here and the players in here, I think that the premium objectives will end in six days time. And then there'll be a week downtime before the new premium objectives come in, or maybe a couple of days. It could be like the 20th of August. I'm not too sure, um, what date it will be, but it's usually Thursdays. So based on that and based on how they updated the last major update, that could be it. I don't think that they'll want any downtime with the divisions um, and obviously with the player packs and all that. But I think for the Spanish league agent and for the premium editions and stuff like that, I think they'll want to tie them in at the same dates. So let me know what you guys think. Let's a slightly longer news roundup today, but let me know what you think and let me know if you guys would like to see new French legends as well. Until next time, lads, peace. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We're nearly at 17,000 subscribers, which is a huge number for me. Peace.